All right, so we're live. So I wanted to make this video to really talk about the amazing things that has happened, right? So what really started as a simple post uh, that was inspired really because my daughter, you know, sort of rubbed poison on her lips uh, with some lip gloss that was given to her. And I'm sure, you know, I don't blame the, the parent for giving the lip gloss. I just know that um, I'm sure the parent just wasn't aware of the chemicals that was in that lip gloss, the massive toxic amounts of chemicals. And what really started as a, a, a just a video, just trying to share information with other parents and just bring awareness to other parents has turned into um, this amazing movement. You know, I'm a huge fan of doing things, just letting the universe tell you, you know, what's the next step. And really from all the, uh, private messages I've received and reach out to people and I'm really grateful for all the interactions and just learning so much about, you know, everyone's concerns with chemicals and, you know, with toxicity and the, you know, in our personal care products and the um, home products. So I thought, you know, how can we, how can we work together and have more people uh, be involved to make a bigger impact? I mean, it's kind of nice. Yes, I, I'm going to make this um, amazing resource guide that you're going to get, and you're going to be able to click literally right in the links and directly order your products. I'm trying to make it as simple as possible, right? Because I know as parents, we are extremely busy, right? We're definitely not the group of people that, um, you know, will sit around and say, you know, I have so much time to kill. We're definitely all busy trying to, you know, help take care of our kids. We're busy at work, and some of you might be stay-at-home moms, which is amazing. Uh, I, you know, I had a staff meeting last week and I joke, I was like, I'm grateful. We also talk about things that we're grateful for, um, in our meetings. And I said, you know, I'm, I'm grateful for my wife who's actually upstairs right now, taking a bath, um, that she does like 90% of the stuff at home. And my, my staff, you know, commented and said it more like 99% of the stuff, right? So it's amazing, you know, um, that we're also busy. And so I wanted to provide this resource guide that you don't have to, you know, the current system is you search through your products, you got to find what's toxic, and you get the ratings, and you get this number. It's great information. I'm so grateful that EWG um, Think um, Dirty and Made Safe has, but I wanted to give something that is um, easier to use, right? You just like click, order on Amazon, done, right? So that's going to be amazing, and you know, that's probably going to go out to at this point about 1,800 people. But I wanted to do more. Like to me, um, 1,800 people. While as amazing as you all are, 1,500 people, I believe we can affect a billion people, right? So how do I get from like mindset of 1,800 people to a billion? And this really started um, three years ago, almost, you know, almost three years ago when I spent time with Richard Branson on his island. And it was amazing. Each day we sat in a room that Desmond Tutu, Nelson Mandela, Jimmy Carter, and Richard Branson um, sat in and they basically for three hours a day they would meet to solve world problems right and so I got to spend multiple days on Necker Island with Richard Branson and just 26 other amazing entrepreneurs from all over the world that are big time entrepreneurs doing amazing things and what we found was that when all of our brains came together we mapped out a plan to help a billion people with education that was it was easy it was actually very simple uh, and so I was like, wow, how, if, if I can influence thousands of people to come together, what can we accomplish? And so I set a goal to help a billion people be less exposed to toxic chemicals because it is just wrong that we're being poisoned for profits by companies, right? And we shouldn't wait for, you know, who's in president, um, you know, doesn't matter if you're a fan of current president or not, um, and who's being assigned on the EPA and the USDA and all that stuff. I think we can all work together um, to help ourselves, right? And so that's what this mission is about. So I created a page, I, if you, you know, sort of later on go to, or you can do it now, uh, toss out toxicity, right? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna type it in the, just so, uh, right, so if you go on Facebook and search for those terms, toss out toxicity, you'll see, it's not pretty. I haven't put up any graphics. I just made like a welcome video just to just so you know it's it's me. Um, but this page is going to be huge. I believe that we can we can get a million people on this page and work together. So my game plan, which I'm going to share with you on this video and how we're going to all work together, is um, so I've secured some spots with my team member. We're going to be on NBC 
Um, she's going to be on radio shows. Uh, I think we're working on Good Morning America. So we're pretty, and I'm getting press releases sent out nationally. The goal is to spread awareness on a national holiday called Toss Out Toxicity. Right? And I've applied for this holiday to be on April 24th. Hopefully it gets approved soon, but it's a, they said it's a, a six to eight week process and I applied, um, two weeks ago. As soon as this thing started, I was like, let's, let's go big, right? So the goal is to have this natural holiday and it's the one day we're going to bring awareness to everyone that on that day, look in your cabinets, look in your personal care products, your household cleaning products, and you just toss out all the toxic stuff that you have and you replace it with less toxic or non-toxic options and those are out there right and then what we're going to do is we're going to over time create a database on um do-it-yourself recipes that are non-toxic right whether you're making lotions i, I you know have that video we can make a non-toxic lotion or non-toxic cleaners we'll just sort of have each other all of you support this cause and if you have your own recipes or your own um favorite brands that you like you can of course post it on there the only thing i ask is if you're going to post a link to to a site, it's really just your site and you make the commissions on it, that you donate the money um, to this cause. And I'll talk about where that money goes and what that does in a second, right? And so, because I don't want it to be like a sales pitch. It's not meant to sell anything. It's for us to bring awareness to other people. And so how this is going to work is we're going to launch this campaign. I'm going to ask everyone to be involved just by simply sharing. Like someone private messaged me, like, what? And I was like, I'm looking for support. And, and she said, well, how, how can I help, right? How, what's involved? And, and I said, you know, sure, anyone can, I could just ask for donations. And again, I'll talk about where the, that money goes. But to me, there's so much more that we can do than just a few clicks and giving a few dollars. You know, my example is like, I don't know, maybe if you're a, I'm a graphic designer, you could possibly help make some cool banners that we could put out there on the web and spread awareness. Uh, maybe you're a good storyteller and maybe you can help write some articles that sort of uh, spread the awareness, right? I'm looking for more than just dollars, right? I'm looking for intent and purpose so you can contribute to this cause, right? Because again, we could all click on a few dollars and, you know, sure, we're going to need some money to fund this. And, you know, it's a good segue to talk about what I have in my mind is we're going to have a revenue generating model. That revenue is going to go towards testing the products that we're recommending because from looking into this situation, there are definitely uh, products that say they're you know non-toxic, or at least they don't use harsh chemicals, but they really do. They're just not disclosing it in their ingredient list, right? And so if you looked at our wall, there was a recent article about you know Honest Company where they were found that when they tested some of the things, they were you know containing some um, harsh chemical agents that they said they would never use. It was actually found in their products. That's a great example of. Um, we need to take control back, right? So um, my goal, and I found that it costs about $300 to test per product. And you can imagine there's thousands of products out there. And so I'm going to have some model, I'll figure it out, whether it be donation or maybe we'll sell t-shirts or something, right, to spread the awareness. And that money basically goes towards testing the product. So you, myself, our families, we know and we could be for sure that when you're buying the products on that list that we're going to have that I believe will evolve constantly, right? Because as we test products, um, if they're not safe, we're obviously going to, to remove it from the list, of course. And so that, that money will be used to, to have the safest list out there. Because when you go to like EWG, Skin Deep, while they have a great database, I don't know if you know, it's not like they test every product, right? Because the number rate ranking for safety is really just based on the fact that the company is inputting um, the ingredients and then they have a database, an algorithm that says, does it have this or that? And if it doesn't or it does, it gives you the chemical rating um, or the safety rating, right? They don't really test every product because that would be outrageously expensive. So my goal is to actually test the products so we know with certainty that what we're rubbing on ourselves and what we're rubbing on our kids or spraying on them or using that those things are truly um, non-toxic, right? And so what, how, how does this work? Well, I don't care what chemical poisoning, you know, what company wants to poison us with the chemicals. We'll know. We're going to test it. This is how we're going to take control back and not rely on some agency or, um, the companies themselves. Like we're just going to test it, right? And so I believe we get enough people together. We can easily spread not only the awareness, but fund this process. So, 
again, we, we take back control. That's the, that's the, the overall thing, right? And so I'm super excited to be able to sort of launch this. And in the coming days and weeks, I'm, I'm having a graphic designer work on like the banner for the, the toss out toxicity, like there's just nothing on there right now. Um, and I'm okay funding this whole thing process to, to launch because it's going to protect my kids, right? It's going to help spread awareness to protect my kids and all of your kids. And so, but over time, of course, as we reach into the stage of testing certain products, I'll, I'll figure some way out where we kind of get the money in and we sort of fund that process. So in the beginning, I'm just looking for you to just share the page, right? So invite your friends, family that, um, support this cause that have kids that want to protect your kids from these awful chemicals, you know, and, and I believe just from based on some of the comments that, you know, uh, we're going to probably evolve eventually away from just, um, uh, personal care products and household cleaning products. I, I think we're going to include nutritional supplements because I used to own a nutritional supplement company and I got out of that industry. And from being in the industry, it is scary how toxic some health products are, right? I'll just leave it at that um, without naming any companies, right? No, they want to get lawsuits involved. And so we'll probably get into that and start testing some of their products as well. And even without testing, I can read any label of any um, supplement and already know what's toxic, what's not, and where they're coming from just from being in that industry. So I can, you know, I'll post videos on that if there's enough demand. You let me know. You can just comment on the toss out toxicity page or, or on this page for now. And um, the goal is to just, we'll, we'll start in niche, you know, probably start with beauty products and personal care products, get into household cleaning products. Those are going to be the biggest. And then we can, you know, branch off into supplements and things that you want. And, and to eventually, I believe, toss out toxicity. Uh, if you look on a page I mentioned, it's more than just tossing out the toxic chemicals. I think it's also, um, it will, it should include tossing out toxic habits. Right? Because you can imagine, um, I talked about in another video that if you're trying to, to be healthier and you're trying to reduce your risk of cancer, cancer is dictated by your immune function. And so if you have life habits, um, like for example, if you're not sleeping well, um, if you're kind of overwhelmed and stressed, uh, if you just feel run down and if you don't eat healthy, all those things are suppressing immune function and you're, you're probably going to get cancer and you're going to get sick. And so, um, I'm going to put out information. You let me know if you're interested or not. If you're like, I don't want to learn anything about habits. Of course, I won't talk about that. But in my mind, I believe discussing the habits is just as important as taking out the chemicals, right? And so we're going to be talking about that. Toxic thought patterns. Yes, Casey, exactly, right? So I'm huge into mindset belief. And I'll post a video I have about how our beliefs controls our perceptions, our perceptions then of course gives the meaning of our actions and the things that we observe. And through time, the repeated perceptions of those actions turns into habits. And those habits become our autopilot, right? I call it zombie mode, right? There's sometimes like if you, if you drive to work, I guarantee you there are days you get to work, you're like, I don't even know how I got here. I was on like autopilot, right? So we all have this autopilot that kind of kicks in. And so Part of my goal is to help identify what are the autopilot, what are the habitual things that you're doing that you're not even aware of that is actually um, toxic for your health. And we'll talk about, I'll, I'll make videos on, I don't mean that they're bad, don't get me wrong. Every habit and every belief, every perception that we have is actually was at one point helpful and necessary in serving of you. It's just that we don't take inventory, right? Um, we don't. You know, on New Year's, you know, people make New Year's resolutions. I like to make, you know, New Year inventory. Like we, we should really, it'd be awesome if every January 1st we say, all right, what are my beliefs and what are my habits that I have right now? Uh, and what do I no longer need? Right. And what can I get rid of? And then replace it with ones that are more serving with my goals right now. Right. That's just not a, a typical habit of humans. And so I want to talk about that. Like, what is that process? Because there are so many things aside from the stuff that we're putting on our body that we're breathing and ingesting that's affecting us and our health, it's also our thought processes, right? Because our thought process and your emotional states, we all know now with science that controls our vibrational frequency, which controls our health. It controls uh, the people around us, right? The people around us can actually feel our, our thoughts and emotions. That's why if you ever meet someone that you, you um, immediately are attracted to, not, I don't mean just physically attracted to, um, I mean, just like 
I don't know, spiritually, emotionally attracted to. And there are some people that you're like, ooh, they give me the heebie-jeebies. You're, you're sensing the vibrations. It's your intuition being able to connect to their emotional, deeper vibrational state. And so I'm going to talk about that. I have um, a good amount of training in what does that mean, right? So as a healer of physical stuff, you know, my background is in uh, physical therapy. I heal people physically all day. I've learned in the last 17 years of doing this that there is no separation between mind and body. And so in the last six years, really honing in on my skill of the mind, spiritual, emotional, vibrational aspect of healing and being able to sense people's um, intuitive things, I'll just call it, right, without getting too, too uh, spiritual and foo-foo on this video. And so I'll talk about that, some of that stuff, because some of you might be interested in that. So you can let me know. I will curate the page and the information based on what you want to know. And that's another way you can be involved is you you interact with the page and tell the world, like, we'll crowdsource, because I believe uh, my goal is to start this movement, but I believe we will attract some of the top experts in health. I, I know one of the best physiologists, the smartest guy, one of the smartest guys concerning health, right? I'm sure he would be more than happy to involve. He cured my wife of an incurable disease about nine years ago. And luckily we went to Penn State together, yay Penn State, and i uh, known him for over 20 plus years. I'm sure he would be involved to interact, I'm sure I can steal him away just for a few minutes to, in, to interact with this page. I believe we will attract the top experts who have the same passion that we all have to do what's right, to protect people from toxic chemicals and mindset and things. So I believe we'll get some of the top experts to kind of jump in and be involved. And I'm a huge fan of crowdsourcing, meaning I am not the top or only expert or really any expert in this. I'm just I'm passionate about this and I have, you know, 20 plus experience of doing this. Um, but I believe we'll get some of the, the best people in the world at this. So huge, huge thank you for, for listening and for being involved. Um, I will continue to private message you. I'll continue to put out videos. Um, so one thing that I want to do right now on this video is um, I want to be able to collect a thousand on in. So I had another video. It was, like, uh, it was on my way to Baltimore um, yesterday, and I, if you saw my page, it was like a little selfie picture of me doing this. Uh, and I think uh, last time I checked, we have about 50 or 60 on ins on that. So if you're watching this video and you're in on this cause, the cause of helping a billion people um, reduce our chemical exposure to toss out toxicity, I'll call it, right? to toss out the toxic chemical to toss out the toxic mindset and beliefs, and you are passionate about sharing this, right? So in my business, in the current business, one of my businesses is Body Solutions, I call it a solution night. It's, you know, in that company, goal is to help a billion people connect with your inner solution night. And I believe we all have a solution night in this. It's not something that we find. It's not something that we level up to. One of my pet peeves is in the self-help space, everyone's like, you're not good enough until you do this and buy my stuff. That is crap you are amazing the way you are and sometimes just life throws layers on top of that we don't see the beauty of the true self and so i believe we all have an amazing soul in us and so it is my goal in body solutions to help a billion people collect connect with your inner solution so what is a solution like it's someone that sees all obstacles as opportunities it's someone that is on the path of self-love and self-mastery and it's someone that is passionate about sharing this with other people. And so I've been fortunate enough to be doing this for many, many years, helping thousands of people connect with the inner solution night. So my goal is to help a billion people connect with the inner solution night and to toss out toxicity, right? So to me, it's sort of all related. So if you're in, comment and say, I'm in, right? I know if you're on this video live, you can do that, of course, right now. And of course, if you're watching this recording, do that. My goal to prove to the world that we can make a big difference is to get a thousand on ins, right? To get a thousand people on board committed to this cause. I think when we do that together, we can make a difference. I believe even just a thousand people is enough to affect a billion people if we strategically move forward with some amazing strategy, with some sprinkle, with some, you know, universe magic. I call it. And literally this video is, was born out of universe magic. I did not, you know, I was kind of mad when I made that video about the lip gloss, and next thing you know, like two million people, you know, saw it. Right? And so now we have we have this going on. All this was born from you know two weeks ago from that video, right? And so 
I'm super grateful that you're um, on this and I look forward to interacting with you more on future videos live where we can talk about whatever you guys want to talk about. Right? And of course I'm going to talk about the things I've already talked about which is taking out the toxic chemicals. And so go to the page and go to toss out toxicity, like the page. I know there's nothing on there right now. There's not even any pictures. Just give me time. Um, I'll put that up there, but I promise you we'll build that page out to be an amazing, amazing resource for all of us to share this amazing cause. April 24th, toss out toxicity day. Hopefully it's approved. If not, I'm going to make it happen anyway. It'll just be bigger PR and, and easier if it's approved. But if not, I'm still going to make the PR push to make April 24th. Uh, and some people ask why April 24th? Well, uh, when I went on the website where you can actually apply for a national holiday, didn't know that existed. Um, it's two days after Earth Day, right? Earth Day is April 22nd. So I was like, hmm, that's a great day because that's about awareness of saving planet Earth from toxic chemicals. So I feel like, well, humans are just as important as Mother Earth. So why not dedicate a day to save humans from toxic chemicals? Just made sense. So I picked a day close to Earth Day and funny story, why April 24th? Because every other day had like five other holidays. And so April 24th only had one other holiday. It's actually uh, also happens to be Pigs in a Blanket Day, right? So if you're a huge fan of Pigs in a Blanket, you're going to have to make a decision. You know, it's either going to be Pigs in a Blanket Day or Toss Out Toxicity Day. Uh, but every other holiday had, every other day had like five or ten of a holiday. So this was just less competitive and it was very close to Earth Day. So April 24th, it works. We're going to go forward and make that day the day the industry and the people remember it's the day that we started that's going to impact a billion lives, right? And so comment, say I'm in, share this, tag other people. And remember, if you um, if you share this video on your page, um, make sure that you write something to tell the people to come back to this original post to say I'm in. It's the only way I'll be able to prove and track the 100 or 1,000 uh, I'm in, right? Because if they do it on your wall, I, I really won't see it. Um, I could if I went onto your page and stalked you, but I'm not going to do that. And so have them come back to this post and say on this post, say I'm in and tag other people. I believe within a day or two, we should be able to get a thousand people with this process, right? So thank you so much for being on this video um, to take time away from your family. Uh, my wife right now is actually cooking right behind me, <laughs> right there. And well, you, can, you can say hello. <laughs> Hi. Hi. She's cooking, cooking dinner right now. Like I said, she does like 99% of this stuff in this house. So I'm grateful for moms, right? They're <laughs> awesome. And my kids are upstairs um, playing right now. So uh, thank you so much for being on the video and comment. I'm in. Share it. Let's get a thousand people and let's launch this campaign as voraciously and as powerfully forward as possible. Um, I know together we can make an amazing difference.